So in this brief tutorial, we're going to learn how to use URL or hyperlink tracking so that you can easily keep track of how each individual student as part of the group is contributing towards da uh, data collection for your Qualtrics survey. So to do this exercise, let's just imagine that we have a completed Qualtrics survey. So what you're looking at here is a sample survey with three silly questions. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's a simple survey, complex survey, it's just that we're, we're done. We're ready to go. We want to go collect data. Now, the specific steps that we have to do to invoke URL tracking is to go to our survey flow. We're going to add a new element. We're going to select embedded data and we're going to give this a unique name using all uh, no spaces and I'll just call it track ID doesn't really matter exactly what the name is but a there can't be any spaces here and notice that by default it says value will be set from panel or URL so the URL is the hyperlink right now one thing we want to do here is we actually want to move this to the very front of our survey flow. So how this works is even before someone even sees our actual survey, so all the survey questions here in block one, the very first thing that happens is the system will capture from the URL if there was any important information in the track ID. So we save this. And now we're actually ready to distribute our survey. and we're going to get a single reusable link. So a standard sort of way to publish this anonymously. And here is my link. If I send this link to anybody, they will see the survey and they can take it and Qualtrics will capture it. But now that we have this link, we're going to make a very small modification to it so that each individual student has their own special link that'll be tracked automatically by Qualtrics. So I have my link copied here. I'm just going to open up Notepad to illustrate this. And what we're going to do, just go ahead and paste that link in. And we're going to make one very simple modification. And all we're going to do here at the very end, we'll add a question mark. And we're going to type in the exact name of that embedded ID value that we put in our survey flow earlier. In my case, it was track ID, uppercase T, uppercase I, uppercase D with a little equal sign. And now here I can't use any spaces. It has to stay, you know, one continuous string because it's a hyperlink. But at this point, I can type in anything and I'll say uh, Andy. Okay, so now anyone who is sent this link with equals Andy at the end, when they click on the survey, automatically there will be a field in my Excel spreadsheet or SPSS data set that called called track ID and it'll store the word Andy. And I could have another one that says Andrew, another one that says Baker, right? So if I had three different team name members, Andy and Andrew and a Baker, each one of them using each one of these unique links, now we can easily track their performance. And now what happens if someone neglects to do this? They make a mistake. So let's imagine there's somebody who hands out the link and forgets to add the question mark track ID approach. Well, it'll still absolutely let you take the survey, but what will happen is there will be absolutely nothing in that track ID column. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this survey really fast three times using the different hyperlinks and show you how the information is stored. So we'll speed this up. Let's go. So now I just simply copy. You know, another great use of this is actually having a track ID where you actually use the word testing. So this is something you can distribute amongst your team members so that when they're taking the survey to verify everything's working right, you know, if you have a complex survey, you typically do this. This is an easy way to ensure that when you go to analyze the data, you can quickly see those records that should be deleted, right? If you're taking a test survey, uh, you never meant to actually analyze those. So let's do that as well. Okay. So let's go take a look at our results and verify that this tracking ID worked well. So now that we actually have some records that we want to analyze or verify that worked right, just go to the data analysis as we always do. 
can see our results here. There's actually nine. I've been playing around with this survey a little bit more, but we can ignore that. And I think it's best to just look at it directly as an Excel file. So I'll export it. It's Excel. We'll download it. And if it worked right, what we should see is the last five responses. Notice there's a little spam flag here. That's the system is freaking out that I took the same survey multiple times from the same hyperlink. So that's just trying to help us out. But we know it's not spam. We're just using testing here. So these last five are the ones that we showed in this little video. And we have a whole bunch of automated captured responses. We see our three survey questions here, pickle, cold pizza, and bachelor. But what we care about is this track ID. Remember, this was the embedded data label that we gave it. And sure enough, in our last five responses, one was Andy, one had Andrew, one had Baker, one had nothing in the hyperlink, and the last one was testing. So great. You can imagine how this makes it really easy for us to verify that each individual team member is contributing to the data collection effort. We can then easily go back and look and verify that they're not stuffing the ballot box or anything inappropriate like that. And we can also create a simple testing link so that we know to filter those responses out easily uh, as part of our data purification when we're getting ready to do our analysis uh, after we collect all of our data. There's all kinds of other great uses for embedded data tracking in Qualtrics. Uh, there's lots of advanced tools and tutorials available on the Qualtrics University website. And if you have any other questions or ideas of how it might work for idiosyncratic aspects of a project for you, just chat with me.